Hi Taurus, welcome into a brief next 48 hour tarot reading for you. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing per usual. But we're beginning with an overall uh, pre-pulled uh, oracle card of focus. I was getting the message that at certain points you're locked in, you're zoned in on whatever is taking your attention in that moment. It could be an accomplishment, it could be a random detail of importance. Uh, a certain moment in the next 48, if not a couple for some, there's going to be a moment where you randomly are staring uh, like it's... Uh, like you're glued in on uh, a message from spirit could be a symbol it could be an angel number it could be um, a color of importance um, or an object of importance is what I'm getting but um, it, as well I feel like there are moments where say you're watching a TV show or a tarot reading like this where you literally can't look away uh, that person or that image or that uh, whatever it ends up being for you is captivating okay but reversing it i feel like you're as well very captivating drawing people um in levels of success in but um let's remember our worth is now what i'm hearing i don't know why you need to um hear that but as well i feel like there's a focus about you in regards to what needs to get done maybe even what you want to accomplish otherwise and this is working to your advantage. I do really feel as if there's an independence about you uh, in the next 48 specifically that is um, enlightening, it's inspirational, it's comforting, okay? It feels as if you give people hope, all right? And I know for me specifically, and I have Taurus in my chart, um, it's at least partially going to be through my tarot readings. But you may find in an unexpected way um, you start to think about a hell of a lot more ahead for you. It's a spiritual push, okay? Because it does feel like um, life has limited you being drawn to this reading. You felt very trapped at times. You felt, and maybe still to this day, uh, feel a sense of lack in your life. And so Spirit's saying, let's visualize a lot more. Let's expect the best and watch it come to be. Um, it feels like that's also tying into this energy. Uh, you being pushed to focus on a bright, um, plentiful, uh, let's just say uh, prosperous, abundant future for yourself, okay? Um, I know my worth and I know what I deserve. And I feel like for some that's coming into play uh, with a relationship or the potential of which, I uh, wouldn't be surprised if some of which are uh, browsing on an online dating uh, site. Um, I recently matched with several guys on a dating app um, a dating site and it's just none of them are feeling right you know what I mean and so I feel that your intuition naturally is coming into play in regards to that but it also feels like spirit saying um, just because you're browsing and just because you're matching with people or uh, opportunities otherwise are popping up it, it may not be the right time okay uh, I do feel like you're going through changes in your life uh, and you may want to be more stable before you meet that person anyways Sorry if you're not single and you are drawn to this reading, but that came out for a reason. Um, I'm now getting if you're committed to uh, or dating somebody in your life at this time, they're going through significant soul development and you need to give them uh, some space to do so. To do so. Um, because I feel like uh, as well, something's making them nervous. But uh, the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, we're talking about two significant new beginnings that are taking a highlight for you in the next 48 one of which is going to be feeling um, quite passionate for you. The other is going to feel very grounded and will cost you some money. And so I feel as if they're reminding you the funds will be there, all right? Um, the opportunities will be there. And okay, for somebody, this is a new um, connection, okay? A new um, lover, if you will. And this is a new place to live. This could be a new car for somebody otherwise. But um, this also could be uh, representing a new job or a new business idea being put to use and then another financial investment once again but um i do feel as if there's a liveliness but a grounded way about you in the next 48 but you do feel a bit burnt out as, at times i feel a negative choice or two if we're being completely real leaves you in that state of um being uh the nine of wands okay i was just zoned out looking at absolutely nothing outside that is going to happen too as well but uh, the Four of Wands, I just heard dance to the music, dance to the music. Um, a song is coming to mind. I just added it to my, um, uh, is it the Feel, Feel the Vibes uh, playlist? Or, or that's the vibe. Anyways, um, it, the song basically is all about uh, gaining a, a new lease on life. And I feel as if this is happening for you. It, it's as if 
you now have the chance to live your life. You don't have to allow for things to stay, uh, excuse me, stay the same or affect you even in the ways that they have. Um, any moments of frustration, I do feel as if a spirit is being rude in the midst of uh, affecting you uh, in that way or speaking through you uh, in that manner, okay? Because it doesn't feel like you are a frustrated soul right now, okay? Or in general, um, and I do sense that people are paying very close attention to you. You're being missed, you're being appreciated, and you're being watched over, but watched to see if you're going to or are making a mistake or two. Uh, specifically, I'm getting that um, somebody is micromanaged at a job uh, or just watch closely in that sense, but this could be as well your online presence. Uh, people are uh, drawn to stare at you, look at you, focus upon you when you're out and about, um, even when you're doing nothing special. But it's the special vibe and feeling energy about you, uh, even your good looks playing into it, uh, and your confidence for a lot drawn to the reading um, is definitely making people look at you noticing a Taurus but um I do as well feel uh there's a little bit of nervousness shakiness in the midst of the energy uh where you're living or working or maybe uh shopping around and so I do know that that's not your energy anyways the eight of pentacles I feel like you are very vibrantly but peacefully getting things done and connecting to this and that of importance the color white is significant there's a purity about you as well it's like I don't feel you are over speaking. You might be doing a ton of which, but it doesn't feel like you're over speaking, if you know what I mean. Uh, very much reminding me of my endless rants in these readings, uh, the messages coming through. But it, I'm getting the message of you saying what you're saying and you're meaning it, okay? You're saying what you're saying and it's on point, it's true. You might even be predictive in nature like myself. Um, somebody's thinking about how you're no longer friends because you haven't seen each other in a while. It's not the case, okay? Um, it definitely reminds me of me and my uh, close friend back in Massachusetts uh, where I grew up and I haven't seen her in years uh, because I haven't been back to Massachusetts to even see my family since I moved to Florida and then shifted back to California. And so it feels like there is somebody thinking that that friendship is non-existent anymore and they will be pleasantly surprised when you guys reconnect and have a lot to, to teach each other, but a lot to learn about each other in regards to how your lives uh, and you as souls have been changing. Beautiful. Um, but I do feel like also being drawn to this reading in the next two days, there is um, a mentioning of the fact that a, a quality amount of um, uh, aligned uh, friendships are going to come to be, all right? Uh, it feels very spiritually connected, okay? Um, you're going to as well find that spirit's saying, you deserve a loved one, uh, a relationship, a commitment otherwise. You deserve friends where you have random commonalities with them. You deserve these connections where you can speak upon uh, about topics that um, you never really felt comfortable or maybe you felt judged for winding back when it came to certain other connections. And they're saying, think about, you know, having friends and acquaintances in your life where uh, you have one friend where you can talk about spirituality and spooky things. And then you have another friend where you can more so talk about other intellectual uh, topics. Um, for some, I'm hearing politics specifically. Um, and then one where you uh, more so are just so comfortable where you can sit in silence uh, or sit uh, with each other and read a book. I love that. Um, and so that the dynamics of different types of connections is somehow coming through for you. Now, they're saying, um, if we didn't mention already, because I get so lost in these um, endless rants, um, all the messages that uh, you are thinking about what you don't have, all right, longing for more. But this also coming through, be careful because you are manifesting once again, what you focus on will increase or come back to be or come to be in general. But um, I'm getting the message of you, again, thinking about a bigger vision for yourself, okay, a brighter future moving forward, being pushed to focus on the grand, um, the grand vision of things, all right? But, um, oh, I just heard, uh, spin the globe and where do you want to go? Spin the globe and let us choose for you if you can't choose for yourself, because I want to say that travel does lie ahead for you if you want it to. Um, I do also feel like um, something about a string of lights, 
a string of lights. I know when I get my own studio after the next place I get, I am definitely going to hang up some lights in the outdoor space. Okay. Um, you know, I have thought about that, but um, that was a speaking through kind of moment. Um, but I do also feel like you might be thinking about or something is involving beach vibes as I'm being drawn to this um, this uh, van with the surfboard. Um, you're sort of, to an extent, if not fully, as my voice just went kind of weird, uh, coasting through life, all right? Doing what you do and doing it uh, really damn well and adapting and um, flowing like a master. And therefore, I feel like you're just coasting. I feel like you're giving off very chill but intelligent vibes. Um, your good looks are very much standing out in the crowd. Look on the ground is now what I'm hearing. That's going to be randomly different for everybody. Um, but you're also going to feel as if there's at least one, if not multiple aspects of your life pushing you to uh, give into temptation. It's not the right choice, but I feel you're going to either way. Um, they're saying temptation is around every corner. You go to a store, there's temptation in regards to buying this or that that you know is not going to be good for you or has left you in a pickle before um, or making the wrong choice is what I'm getting. But um, that's just an example. You know what I mean? And so we need to be using our intuition and uh, remembering what we've been through and uh, what we prioritize of importance moving forward and steer clear of it. Okay. Um, I just heard put it back on the shelf. Um, but I also feel like the way you're sitting at certain points is important. Um, you will be feeling very spiritually connected in the next 48 and that's part of it. Um, they're also wanting you to feel the earth, feel the ground. Uh, if it's possible, they're saying walk in some grass um, in your bare feet. But uh, this absolutely could happen, you know, uh, indoors. There's a need for you to feel uh, planted, okay? Um, and maybe even, uh, once again, connected to Mother Nature. 1222, look at the angel number meeting. One, two, two, two. <laughs> Almost failed there. But um, there's success in the next 48, and I feel like you're earning it, okay? This even uh, speaks upon your past efforts, adding up, paying off for you, and giving you exactly what you deserve. Um, now, little struggles here and there, I feel, are eh, nothing to... To focus upon okay um, nothing to stress over they're saying when those little struggles uh, come to be whether it's when you're speaking walking um, sitting there lying down okay uh, maybe even uh, that's potentially a spiritually connected kind of moment um, I just heard shoe fly um, you're as well uh, needing to remember that that's a fleeting moment okay even if that fleeting moment happens a couple times uh, you know back to back but um yeah that's a constructive way to uh a positive way to think about it wow i just got a little bit out of it for a second but the king of swords they're pointing out the owl here all right the spiritual meaning of an owl is significant um a courageous little owl you are is what i now got but there is abundance because you're intelligent because you're wise because for a lot of which you're using your uh, intuition and your spirituality to your advantage and maybe the advantage of a situation and other people but um you have a lot of future choices coming to mind taking a highlight you're going to need to reorganize yourself okay the cards on the table are a hot mess and they were pointing it out as um, a representation of uh, certain aspects of your world in the next 48 sort out your thoughts my friend because uh, it feels like a lot of which, like myself, hear spirit very clearly um, through their mind. Yesterday, when I was, um, you know, finishing up my day, uh, or it was uh, the evening time, I, I often do hear spirit quite clearly, but it was like they were like passing the baton to each other, like consistently, um, and the different voices, you know, coming through. That can sound kind of crazy, doesn't it? But I know for a fact it's spiritual. I mean, you know, you don't do readings consistently and get them accurately uh, predicted and, and proven, you know, correct once again um, and not have this kind of spirituality. I'm just saying. Um, your dreams as well are part of the next 48 because I feel like um, you may have a predictive dream coming to be, a gift from spirit. 
but you as well might feel like spirits are speaking to each other, having a conversation um, through your dreams. Now, I also feel like where you drift to, a daydream or two, um, is of significance. Um, but I, I do appreciate your patience in the midst of all of these random messages. We are going to leave it at that, okay? I hope it was truly helpful. Um, sending you so much love and light. Don't forget to book a personal reading with myself. We will meet again soon.